Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you're all doing okay and have had a good week. Um, yeah, week's flown again. Um, it's a bit busy Friday because I was, um, yeah, well, the, all of last week, I was having to tidy up out in the garage because we got a new garage door fitted, which is long overdue because in the 10 years we've been here, we haven't been able to open it from the outside. Um, so Friday was spent, tea lady, tea and biscuits, making sure they were sorted and everything. And uh, yeah, it's one of those adult things that you have to do, you have to pay for, but it's nice now it's done. But um, I didn't really do anything much for me on Friday. No, I didn't. I was, yeah, sorting that out. And then I did go to Pilates class. I did manage to get along there, but um, yeah. So really, really, really struggling with my crojo still at the moment. I literally have nothing to show you. Um, I haven't done any more to my imaginists and obviously therefore I haven't started anything new. Um, yeah, um, conservationists obviously arrived. I wouldn't have started that yet either. Um, so I'm doing this video. I'm going to go and I think have a bath for a bit and chill. Um, and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to try and finish my imaginists. Because it's not far off to be fair. Um, it's pretty pretty close. Um, yeah, then I can move on to my next project. But um, so really, this video is not about crochet today. It's about stained glass. <laughs> um, I thought I'd give you a little update on that um, and where we're at, and then hopefully next week I'll have a bit more crochet to show you. So I do apologise, but I'm just I'm really struggling with it at the moment. I think it's been a busy week. I had to go. Um, sort of to the tip, to the charity shop, uh, into the office. And then this week I've got to go up to London for work one of the days I'm staying overnight. So yeah, anyway, yeah, I don't know. Just at the moment I'm struggling with it. Like last night I played a bit of Animal Crossing and then fell asleep on the sofa for like two hours. So yeah, I think it's that wintry time, isn't it? So stained glass. Um, it was week three on Thursday when I went. Um, and pretty much now we know what we're doing and I think the rest of the 10 weeks is going to be spent using the space and the tools to be able to make what we want really. Um, obviously we were given some sheets of glass as part of our course um, sort of instruction and allowance and cost. Um, so once you run out of those you need to then obviously purchase your own supplies. Um, which as I said to you guys wasn't a problem because... In True Michelle style, I'd gone and ordered a starter kit, so I thought I'll show you that. Um, but I did manage to, on Thursday, um, in the two hours, sit and cut all my pieces and put all my pieces together. I possibly rushed a bit at the end with the soldering, but the soldering is getting marginally better. Um, I do feel practice is needed. Um, and yeah, probably need to take it a lot slower. But I did manage, if you've seen my Instagram, to create another little hangy stained glass item. Um, so if I come forward, you can see, for example, this is a very nice, clean, straight line. And, and this one pretty much. Um, and then if I flip over the same on the other side, we've got some good sort of cleaner, straighter lines of solder. Um, edges still need work. Um, a bumpy attaching if that will focus on that and not me uh, attaching the loop is still a bit bumpy and clunky um, and I did have a little bit of a gap here where I, I made all my pieces to a point so I filled that in with some solder sort of a bit roughly but we've managed to fill it in um, but yeah so if I hold it that way but if I turn it around that way can you see there's like this panel is iridescent so we've got purple, blue and iridescent, which then somebody <laughs> said to me is West Ham colours, these two. I'm, I'm not a fan of football. Um, and I was holding it up against, I've got this little yellow thing for my iPad. Look, it goes green. Obviously, blue and yellow. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite proud of that. Um, so they're now hanging up on my back door. Um, I got Harvey to order me some little suckers from Amazon. Other online retailers are available. Um, so some of those little suckers were just like the round and I, I've been able to hook that over. I'll show you in a sec, I've got some in the box, but yeah. So quite pleased with that, another attempt. It looked really nice when it was all um, 
foiled. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's holding together, which is all good. So yeah, I've ordered, I have ordered myself some glass from a company online because I've got two projects in mind that I want to make. So I've ordered the appropriate coloured glass for those projects. Um, my basket was originally full with pretty glass that I liked the look of, um, but I was like, no, I need to plan and make sure I've got glass for things that I want to make. Um, but starter kit arrived and that did come with some pieces of glass as well. Um, I'm probably not going to unwrap and show you the glass because I, last night I sat and wrapped it all carefully and so it doesn't get broken. But I uh, went to Hobbycraft and got myself a storage box. Not too sure where the storage box is going to live. Um, at the moment it's behind the sofa in my lounge. Not enough room in the craft room. Um, so when I went to Hobbycraft as well, I did pick up these. So these are the plastic sun catcher sorry not too much asmr there um the plastic sun catchers for kids like to paint with acrylic paints um but i thought what i could do is put those on my scanner and scan and print those out as patterns um this one is obviously quite geometric in form so all straight lines so which is why i went for that one for the heart but then i decided to go for this one because you obviously we've got the star but to have a go with some curves maybe um so yeah these were only a pound each from Hobbycraft um so I thought I'd give that a go whether that's a good idea or not um so the starter kit oh let's take these out first so these are my pack of I got a sorted pack of suckers in if I get out the three different sizes I think there's three different sizes here yeah so this large one was too large the little um, knobbly bit um, so mine are actually hanging up on I think this one or have we got three different sizes four different sizes in here no it just looks different when it's stuck up on the window yeah this size because obviously it's flattened out to hang and it just snugly fits over there so obviously then they can come on and off so they're not um, completely attached but yeah so that size we've got Large, slightly smaller, and then there's teeny tiny, which I think might be too small. Um, but yeah, so that was just like five pounds for a pack, a multi pack of. I think there's thirty in there all together, so like ten of each size. So um, if we don't end up using many of the big ones, then I'll know that I'll need to order the slightly smaller size. But there you go. That's that. So in my kit um, came various different bits, which I'll show you. And obviously I am not an expert. This is what I've learned in the last few weeks. So I have three bottles here, which I have now put in a plastic bag to avoid any spillage. One is cutting oil for my cutting glass cutting tool. Um, this is black patina, which is when you've soldered here, you can then actually, you basically like paint that liquid on and it turns it to look all black, like leading. Um, there is, I think you can get a copper version as well, but it came with, there was no choice. It came with black in my kit. Um, and then we've got liquid safety flux. So this you have to paint on. Um, so you put all your copper foil on, all your pieces, and they're all separate at that point. And then you paint that on and it's almost like something for... Not for the solder to adhere to but it just helps it all mush together um so it helps solder to adhere to non-ferrous metals by removing oxide buildup there you go helps to spread out the solder by reducing surface tension and allowing the solder to flow so those are my three three bottles as to what i've got in there so i've put those in a nice resealable bag avoid spillage because they are chemicals so they do give you some plastic gloves with that so you have to be careful so I'm not going to put those on my sofa just in case. I'm leaving them down there. Um, we have a fashionable pair of safety glasses, plastic, um, which I will use because um, obviously in case of shards of glass and also when you're filing, we use the safety glasses when we use the grinder, which is like a machine that you sort of polish and grind the sides on to make them smooth. And you have to wear safety glasses when you use that takes me back to my being at school days in science class um this which is 
if you can see that. Um, a, what do they call it, cutting square. So if you want to do some straight lines, you can then just follow with your tool up the side. Um, yeah, and then you've got a short one and a long one and you've also obviously got that curved edge. So a cutting square. Um, then we have, we have two different types of pliers. So we've got these that are called Groza breaker pliers. Um, and I don't know if you can see, they're quite flat. Um, and they can just hold the side and pull down when you've scored your glass. Um, these, I have been using these a lot at my class. I'm not too confident with, you should be able to, once you've scored, break it with your hands. I feel like I'm so, I'm not an accident prone person, but I just feel like I would do that and I'd like slice my hand or something. So I've been a bit scared to do that. So I've been using these that are running pliers. So basically what happens is where your score line is, when you score, you put the middle of this and you just gently press and it goes and falls apart. Um, so yeah, a pair of those. So I'm good. I'm pleased about that because I'm a scaredy cat. I just don't want to cut myself. I feel like I would. Um, then we have a soldering iron. So this is a, thou a thousand, a hundred watt soldering iron that came with the kit. One of my friends on Facebook has done this quite um, before. Um, she was probably my inspiration. I saw her, that she'd been on a course. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. After I got this, she said to me, it's probably a good idea to get a variable speed soldering iron to help. But this obviously came with the kit. So, I mean... This has got a price stick of £25 on it. Um, I think some of the variable ones are sort of 60 to £90. Um, so I'm just starting. Um, you know, this kit came to £110 plus postage on offer. So I'm kind of just like, let's see how much I use it first. Um, here we go. It's my soldering iron. Oh, it has got a stand, but it's like the most basic stand ever. I might see if... Um, B and Q or somewhere has got a bit more of a, it's like a little piece of metal folding. I'm planning on doing this outside in the garden, sort of in spring, summer time when the weather's all right anyway. So yeah, that is my soldering iron. That way. I hadn't had that out of box yet. I had not nosy day. Uh, right, soldering iron, show me that. Um, Oh, they have given me a paintbrush for painting on the flux. So, yeah, paintbrush. This is a fid tool. Um, so I've not used one this design at the class. Um, mine's more like a boning tool for card making. You know, the white bit that you've got that you can score cards with. Um, it's like that. But you've got a flat side here because when you put the copper foil on all the edges, you need to smooth it all out and flatten it all down on the top. So that's going to come in handy um but obviously it's got different shape design there you go uh that's that um this is <clears throat> now i have um like a pencil style tool which i think i showed you last week because i realized it was leaking somewhat this is a pistol grip glass cutter um so if i actually turn it up that way it's for you to hold like this and cut which actually I might get on better with. <clears throat> I haven't tried it in the class. Um, I was using my pen one, but I might give this a go and pushing, I might get better better grip and better strength. Um, and you just undo the, the cap here and fill with oil. Um, yeah, and there's your little, there's your little tool. It's just so weird that this is, it's not sharp and it, it just scores the glass and it breaks. It's really odd. I was expecting it to be something really sharp, but. So I've got one of those. Um, I, did, I didn't realise they had put some patterns in the bottom. There's some slightly random, but I think about out of my realm to, <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Um, then we have, last few bits, um, a double-sided diamond file. <clears throat> so we have an electronic grinder at uh, the classes and they're about 350. Um, again, one of those tools that if you get into it and really enjoy it, I want to do it regularly, worth spending. At the moment, I'm going to be using or attempting to use this diamond file to um, file down my glass and smooth it off. Um, 
yeah so we'll see how that gets on i mean you should be able to i would have thought do this sort of thing at home with this but yeah anyway copper foil so this is what we use to put around the edges you can see there it looks a bit it reminds me of slug tape um but that is our copper foil for putting around the edges of the glass we've got some copper tinned wire which is what i've used for doing these loops on the top just put them around a pencil um, to make the loop so um but i suppose in case you want to do anything um a lady made a seagull and she wired some like they were the legs and she put little feet um at the class so yeah it's a good idea i think she's been on one before because i'm like i'm not there yet um i did get a pack of these so i have been given a little pack of little jump rings so i can then therefore solder them on to my item but obviously in comparison to the sizes that I've been making, they're quite a bit smaller. Um, so just to bear in mind, I wonder if they'll go over my go over my small, my teeny tiny one of these. Uh, maybe with a bit of a wiggle, it will go on. So that will work on these teeny tiny suckers, possibly. Um, yeah, so jump rings, but if it's good to know that I can get those and then maybe get some slightly bigger sized ones because, yeah, I'm going to find that easier. Um, and then the last thing we've got here is some solder sticks, which is 60-40, which is to do with the, the lead versus, I'm not sure what the other half is, but basically the, the content of makeup, you can get 50-50 or 60-40. So I've got some strips of solder there because I was almost running out. Um in my last class so yeah so yeah 110 pound for all of this 5.95 for delivery um it's called from a company you can see on there glass workshop um so the kit was originally 150 so it was reduced down to 110 and it's literally got everything you need um obviously it's for if you've been taught what you're doing and been to a course because all of this stuff you'd need to know what you're doing with it there's no instruction guide or anything with it i think some companies do do starter kits with instruction guides or dvds or manuals um to teach you with the kit um but i would have to say like i think it's always better to learn from somebody and get tools and and tips and and obviously i know um, you know there is YouTube and things like that and online now because I have started following some people, um, stained glass people on ye olde TikTok. Um, so yeah, there are other possibilities rather than an in-person workshop, but I just quite like it and getting to chat to the people that I'm learning with, etc. Um, I'm sure we're going to probably keep, you know, keep in contact and see what everyone's getting up to after the course. But um, yeah, so sorry, that's been like a 20 minute waffle about stained glass today. Um, I know it's what not not normal content you usually tune in for um but i did sort of say this was like 99 percent crochet so this is the one percent that is not crochet um yeah i mean i suppose i don't think i've lost my crojo for the stained glass if that makes sense i haven't like swapped for another because i can't sit and do the stained glass of an evening i think possibly just doing the course and getting back into the gym as well two two nights a week so it's three nights a week I'm doing something now so that's possibly why but um yeah so that is my stained glass starter kit just out of interest for any of you so apologies if that isn't your normal cup of tea but you might have found it interesting um I did make a purchase in Siobhan's crafts update this morning it was at 10 a.m um possibly you can go and find some things still in there obviously um a lot of her sort of one-off special items do tend to sell out quite quickly um i didn't buy yarn um i oh i had yarn to show you today i'll go and get that in a minute um i did um purchase a project bag and she started doing acrylic um like yarn caked yarn holders like on a wristband um but i bought basically a harry potter gift set one so it was a harry potter themed project bag um house colour hang hanging yarn holder and um some stitch markers. Um I wasn't gonna get it 
I would I was supposed to set an alarm to order it and I didn't because she only had one of each house colour. I think she was just sort of messing around seeing if it would work. Um and I would have bought Gryffindor, but Gryffindor and Hufflepuff both were gone this morning and I still ummed and ahed, and then it got to about eleven, eleven thirty, and they still had Slytherin and Ravenclaw in there. So I purchased the Ravenclaw one. Um so yeah, I've got that coming. I am going to go and pause this video because I do actually have some yarn to show you that I said I ordered. So, yeah, if you wait here a second, I'm coming back with yarn. Bear with. Right, I'm back. I always have to take a minute after running up the stairs. Um, so, I did mention to you last week I'd purchased from Yarnsmiths, who's somebody I haven't purchased from before. And, um, not Yarnsmiths, sorry, Yarn Unique. That's who I've purchased from before. Um, and also I've uh, made a Woolly Mama's order in the update. And what I'm gonna do is, because I've noticed the lights are on the on the uh, orangey colour in here. So let me go in, I'm gonna make them bright so you can see the colours. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I should have recorded the video in this. Oh, lost, a bit of a lost. Lost cause I am this week. Right, but you need to see the yarn in all its goodness. So yarn unique, yeah, I've not ordered from before, so this is my first order. Um, and I've ordered three colourways, two are similar. So I've ordered uh, Aurora number six and Aurora number seven. So this is number six with some turquoise in it. So turquoise and navy and purple. And then this is number seven, which is more just purples and blues so number six and number seven really lovely colorways there so these are merino dk sock so 75 percent superwash merino and 25 percent nylon um, which is my normal quantities and normal lengths 225 meters per each um, and then i've ordered neon rainbow um, so again this is the same dk sock um yeah oh the lights just change themselves again why are they doing that? Hopefully they'll stay. Um, neon rainbow. There we go. So yeah, really pleased with those. And it's a new uh, indie dyer. Um, so yeah, really happy with those. Yeah, so check them out. Yarn unique. Yarn unique. Uh, right, and then the other set that I purchased was a Woolly Mama's gradient set. So these are five lots of 50 grams. And this is what it is, it's Hummingbird it was called. Uh, look at that. Let's turn it around so you can see. Really stunning colorway, really love that. And it is very Hummingbird. Um, so that arrived this week. I've still got two gradient packs from last year, like the summery ones that I need to do something with. But um, yeah, Hummingbird. Really lovely. I think that'll be like for a shawl or something because that's 250 grams there. So just fair enough for a shawl. So yeah, apologies for the lights keep turning on and off and me being a bit useless this week. Um, you know what I'm like. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. 25 odd minutes there. So I'm going to um, stop waffling for you. Thank you for watching. Um, and obviously if the stained glass isn't for you, but you still watch, thank you for... Um, coming along and listening with me because it's something new and yeah you never know I mean you might like the idea of it and want to give it a go right have a good week um enjoy send me some crojo please um and yeah I will see you all next time take care bye